hi friends welcome back to shelby and the book club i am shelby monet and in today's video we are going to be doing or talking about i should say um the other mother by rachel m harper i so enjoyed this book and i really feel like it is a must read so if you would like to hear a full review that may include some store some spoilers <laughs> I was going to say some stories may include some spoilers then here you go okay so where do I begin with the multiple layers of this book and what I absolutely loved about it so first let's get into the story so we start with a character named Jenry who has just discovered that the story that he was told about his life and about his dad and all of this is a lie. Um, his mom told him that they met at, you know, in college and like instantly fell in love and then got pregnant with him and all this other stuff. But because his father died when he was young, he decides to go to the same school that his parents went to and he meets his grandfather, his father's father, who he had never been told about and he learns that his dad was more like a sperm donor than he was a dad to him and his grandfather in a kind of grumpy way tells him that he needs to be looking for his daughter um his grandfather's daughter um Juliet because that was his other mother so he finds he he's pissed off obviously he's mad with his mom he feels like he was told a lie and why didn't he know about Juliet and his grandfather and all of this other stuff so one of my favorite parts about this book is that it is told in sections and each character has seven to eight chapters if I remember correctly I think it's seven chapters in each section so he's upset he feels like he's been lied to so then we meet his mom Marissa and she her point of view is told from the past when she was actually a student and how she decided to move away from her family because it was only her parents and her and her parents were you know like she's first generation um going to college and all of this stuff so it's a big deal but she wanted to go away specifically to you know like be on her own and and and, and build her own roots um and she meets Juliet and she falls in love and based on Juliet is this like amazing phenomenal piano player I think that's what I left out about Jenry is that he's like a musical prodigy he's amazing um so <sighs> Marissa realizes that with the lifestyle that Juliet lives that a relationship is probably not gonna happen um because she's a musician she's kind of like fly by the wind like you know laid back but you know doing her own thing so after they graduate and Julia has done some traveling um you know for music recorded some albums and is trying to figure out her you know musical career they end up living together while Juliet is figuring it out and this is the part where I couldn't really I, I couldn't really decide how I felt about Marissa because I feel like she trapped Juliet in a way because Marissa was at this point in her life where she was just like oh I'm a big kid now right like I, I want a family I want to like root into something and to like have I want to have a baby and they decide to use Juliet's brothers, um, Jasper, use his sperm to have the baby, so we think, <laughs> and um, so that the baby could have some part of Juliet too, and they have Jenry, and Jenry is like the love of their life like it, it it makes them a family right and I think that's the the root of this book is is that family is what you make it it's not always this traditional like who's blood related to you type situation it's it's the people that love you it's it's who shows up for you and who takes care of you despite like obviously there are going to be issues and things but whatever so long story 
really long with Marissa is Juliet gets an opportunity to to go to this like music camp situation and I feel like Marissa was trying to like force her to settle down and Juliet like wanted to do these things and Juliet ends up breaking up with her because she's like I love you but I'm not in love with you and like I want to be in Jimmy's life because I love him too like he's my son as well but like I don't necessarily want a relationship with you so Marissa just ups and leaves like packs up the whole apartment except for Juliet's room and she left and like could not be found so then we get Juliet's chapter if I remember correctly and Juliet's or her section I should say yes we get her present day section where she's meeting the adult Jenry because his grandfather gives him a business card to where she works and he shows up and he wants answers he's angry he's like my mama apparently told me lies and 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 now I'm learning about you and I'm supposed to have some sort of relationship with you but I don't really know like what that relationship should be like he was very confused rightfully so and her whole section was about her trying to navigate him being back because she's married now and her and her wife are about to adopt a baby and she's like what is Jenry being back going to do to this new life that I'm trying to create for myself we also learned that she had a drinking issue which we kind of got glimpses of in Marissa's section because she was always drinking like that's how Marissa met her they were at a party <laughs> she made Marissa drink um so it, it's something that's kind of known um but she's been sober and like Marissa taking Jimmy away from her like tore her apart like it tore her world upside down because a few months before that happened her brother passed away and her and her brother were really close and they lost their mom when they were young and she doesn't really have a really good relationship with her father um so it was like she sort of had family and Marissa took that away from her so in this particular section she's She's trying to figure herself out and she's trying to figure out how to be in his life in a way that's meaningful. Um, if she wants to talk to Marissa again and all of this other stuff. We learn that her father has betrayed her. Um, she ends up relapsing and like drinking again for the first time. Like it was this whole big thing. So we learn that her brother actually did not donate his sperm because he had HIV and that he maybe committed suicide and we learned that her father and Marissa's father were in cahoots with each other so the father was keeping track of Jenry all these years and it was like this whole big thing so I think I have so many thoughts I think overall um one of the really big takeaways for me was that you're not as far removed from your parents as you think you are I think we go through a lot of the same things that our parents do and we don't give our parents the credit that we should because I think a lot of people just view their parents as these people that are supposed to know everything and supposed to just take care of us and and like we are our parents end all be all when in all actuality like our parents had lives before us our parents were drinking dating dancing and and doing all of these things before we ever existed um and in turn they're not perfect so I feel like there were so many things that we learned about Juliet's father that if only she knew these things about him, she would have navigated her relationship differently with him. Like if he was able to be open. The same for him and Jasper. Like I feel like Jasper, because both of his, Jasper and Juliet are both um, gay. 
I think they felt like their father was like disappointed in them um because of their sexuality which valid um just based on who their father was and I, I mean I would think the same thing um but I think it, it made me realize how important it is to like get to know your parents as people don't just know them as your parent and I mean that's easier said than done because not all parents are going to be super open and super um super what was the transparent um but you have to at least try because there are so many there, there are so many things and so many experiences that they have that are the reason why they treat you the way that they do or tr don't treat you the way that they do you know or why they de why they decided to make certain decisions you know there are losses that they've experienced and so on and so forth um but on the flip side of that I also think it's hard for parents to not see their children as children and to not want to always like catch you right and I think we need to give our parents a lot more grace because they're always going to want to be there to catch you when you fall because you are their little baby like they created you out of like vibes and energy you know <laughs> and now here you are and you're like they 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 want to help but them helping can sometimes be misconstrued so i think it's like i think this book is a really good conversation starter i think there are so many things that happen what like even the relationship between marissa and jenry even though she kept the story the the real story from him for reasons because she you know needed somewhere to stay and because her parents didn't accept her sexuality and that she was living with a woman and having a baby with a woman and doing all of these things in a time where like that was frowned upon um I still think there should have been some sort of something she should have she should have told him something he has a right to know and it's going to be complicated and it's going to be he's not going to understand but he has a right to know you know um so i really think it is a I, I i highly recommend this book i absolutely loved it i did i do feel like the way that it ended i feel like we could have gone for the ending that wasn't happy so to say because that would have been more real life um and it kind of begs the question of we're forever going to be in this cycle of like lies um, because, well, they are the characters are forever going to be in this cycle of lives all for the, the 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 idea of saving face when really it's probably causing more damage than not. Um, so that's that's food for thought. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's definitely food for thought but I I thoroughly enjoyed this book the writing style I really enjoyed because I felt like every section was unique like each character definitely had its own voice and sometimes I feel like in books where the characters are separated the way that they are in this book that sometimes it feels like there is a narrator describing different characters where Miss Rachel M. Harper did an amazing job at giving each character their own voices, their own traits, um, and all of that. Like, I absolutely, I absolutely love that. Another thing that I really loved is each section kind of geared you up for the next one. So there was like a little something that was left out in each section that was answered in the next one. <laughs> so it was like, it was almost like you were reading these separate books that were all intertwined and they all ended with cliffhangers that were answered in the next book if that makes any sense <laughs> so i i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this book i think it's a conversation starter i think it is a really good depiction of modern day family um and the the simple fact that like family is not going to look like a mommy a daddy and some babies and a grandma and a grandpa 
It may be a mommy and a mommy. It may be a daddy and a daddy and a grandpa. <laughs> it may be, you know, like it, it, family is what you make it. It could just be family could be a mama and a baby and a gang of aunties and uncles. That's, you know, holding up, you know, holding the fort down. Family, family is a lot more vast than what a lot of people are willing to accept nowadays. And I think we should change that. Um, I feel like I am the product of my family being my mama and her friends. <laughs> it's always been me, my mama, and my gang of aunties. So, um, I think, I think y'all should read this. I think it was so good. I think y'all should read this. If no one has told you today, I love you. Um, if you have made it to the end, leave a chicken emoji in the in the comments a chicken emoji yes and tell me if you've read this or not if you've read it or if you plan to read it now that you've watched the review let me know and i will talk to you guys soon bye guys